What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and here on Pro Team Comps Explained, we take a rundown at Pro Team Comps, what makes them work, and how you can implement the strategies into your games. Today's composition is built around Elise, and is a very popular comp in the NA LCS, and it's Elise Pick Comp. Let's get started. So the Elise Pick composition is a version of a ranged pick comp, and it focuses on amplifying the strengths and utility of Elise's kit, while also looking to create picks and easily catch out opponents to eventually lead to uneven fights or perhaps free objectives. It thrives on having a strong laning phase, as well as being very versatile and open to options. You play a pick comp in the early and mid game, but you can usually transition into a different playstyle based on the strengths of your players later on. It's the versatility of this comp and the strength of Elise that makes it so popular in the LCS right now. In building this composition, you want to first pick Elise for the jungle of course. Since she does make the comp, you obviously want to pick her as soon as possible in champion select. On top of that, you want to have at least one or two champions that can easily follow up on her stun. Usually, and pretty much always, this will be your support. Champions like Morgana, Thresh, or Annie will do just fine. For your mid laner, you want someone with decent burst damage like Ziggs, Syndra, or Orianna. And then the top laner and AD carry picks are kind of open to a lot of options. For the top laner, I like to pick a tanky front liner to be able to protect your team while you look for picks such as Renekton or Shyvana. But Lulu also does great since her ultimate can synergize with Elise diving in. And lastly for the AD carry, you can actually fit almost anyone in, so I would just suggest Caitlyn, Tristana, or Corky, who can follow up on the picks quite well while still having a very strong laning phase. Keep in mind that the champions I listed are simply my top picks for the comp and not really set in stone, as well as since the laning phase is so important with this comp, with the exception of the support pick, since you do actually want a support to follow up on the Elise Cocoons, you can really just pick the champions that your team is best at laning with, while also trying to get good matchups in lane. And once again, just like with the picks for the bans, you have quite a few options. I would recommend banning Morgana, Lulu, and Kale if you aren't going to play them, as they do well to stop the picks of Elise. Or you could potentially ban Lee Sin, Evelyn, and an additional jungler if you're on blue side to ensure that your team is the only one that gets a top tier jungler, but that only works if you're on blue side because otherwise you can't be sure to get Elise. Now for playing this composition, the team you create should have a strong early laning phase. If your lanes are strong early, you're probably going to want to plan out a early jungle invade, or perhaps a 3 or 4 minute invade from Elise depending on the jungle matchup. If you get blue side, you can ban some junglers and then look to force heavy pressure onto the opponent's jungler early, leading to a massive lead for Elise, and the ability for your lanes to have much more freedom to play aggressive. On top of that, just do your best to win lane through ganks via Elise. And definitely make sure to control dragons. You don't even have to get kills, but getting dragons will definitely give you enough of a lead. Going into the teamfight phase, it can be difficult if your team is behind versus champions that peel well, because what can happen is that you can hit your CC onto a target, stun them out, and look for that pick, but then their team is able to save them because you don't kill them fast enough. If you come out of lane going even or with a small lead, it's much easier to just instantly burst down targets with the follow up from your support as well as the rest of your team, leading to easy picks. And so of course, you want to look for those picks. Roam is 5 through the jungle or through lane, looking to quickly catch off an opponent for a free kill. You are then free to use that kill to take objectives or push for an easy fight. But other than that, this comp is really, really versatile in what you can do. You have poke with your ranged crowd control, you can teamfight well with kiting, or you can split push if you have a strong duelist in your team. Play to the strengths of your players, and do what your team is best at doing. You really can just play whatever strategy you want, as long as you continue to create and look for picks, using Elise and then the follow up from the rest of your team. And as for playing against this composition, you want to pick champions that can do a good job of saving someone who gets cocooned. Morgana, Lulu, Kale are great, as well as Ziggs and Orianna do a good job of disengaging while poking to gain a health advantage. During the laning phase, it's important to have your team play the matchup of the jungler. If you can, pick a jungler who is strong early like Lee Sin, but either way, have your team be ready to defend an early invade. And later on, make sure to stay grouped up to avoid being picked off individually during the teamfight phase. And be very careful and aware when going off to clear side lanes or when walking through the jungle. Anyways, that just about wraps it up. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on the Elise Pick Comp. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others on the screen right now, or stay connected at facebook.com slash gamingcurios. And definitely let me know what other comps you'd like to see in the comments. 
drop a like, share this video, and make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.